Hi crafters, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a mini junk journal show and tell. This is a great little junk journal that I've recently created. I'm going to show how to make it in another video. It's about three and a half by five and a quarter inches. I've uh, used washi tape on the outside, an old piece of a book page with those words from a children's book. This is a nice velvet red ribbon, feels so good. On the inside, I have a first flip up and another flip and another flip with a space for journaling and a pocket. I have a lot of pockets in this um, junk journal and a lot of journaling spots. This is a tea dyed piece of paper Another pocket that I've created with a uh, stamped image and you could do journaling on the back. This is a piece of tea dyed paper as well, feels great. Um, the, this pocket here, I'll demonstrate by grabbing a piece of paper. These little butterflies, they're gonna flit, flit, flitter through the whole book. This is one of those index cards, really simply done and I've tea dyed that. Again, just more paper, scrunching it up and doing some tea dyeing. Another flip. So that's a flip up. You could do some journaling on that. Put a little picture on the other side. This band that I have at the bottom of the page um, will, will hold another little tuck point. So if I grab my butterflies again, so you could tuck a picture or some journaling or cards or anything in that. Opening it up, I have another little pocket and stick some papers in there and a place for writing. At the top of the bat, that page on the right hand side is uh, some dictionary pages. So that's another great use of an old book is a dictionary to use in your uh, handmade books. So this is graph paper, lots of different varieties of paper that I have here. Another little tuck point, I just oversized the graph paper, folded it over. Um, again, more graph paper. And these are going to be lots of lovely little pages that I'm going to fill up with pictures and uh, quotes and those kinds of things. And I'm going to show those later on once I start filling up this junk journal. Some more pockets, another little tuck with a journaling area underneath. So junk journals are really called junk journals. One, you're supposed to be using junk to create a, a junk journal, but for the most part, more and more people are doing it with their handmade papers. In this case, I actually ripped this piece and used a piece of washi tape to stick it back together, and it gives a really nice vintage feel. Another um, pocket with some a journaling card. Uh, junk journals are really supposed to be eclectic, fun, um, really whimsical, I, I would call them. This one has just a great sense of feel to it. Um, the pages, I can't even describe them well enough uh, in words how yummy they actually feel to touch and they stamp so beautifully. Um, we can write on them really well. And I'm gonna go through in upcoming videos and, and show you how to actually fill these pages because sometimes it can be intimidating when you have a blank journal on what to do. So there's another little tuck point for another index card. And going through this is, there's the other side of that index card. Lots of pockets. So once this journal is completely done, um, it's going to be really stuffed, which is a really nice feeling of a journal. This could hold memories from a trip. It could just be random daily memories. Anything to get your writing in a journal. And that's it. What a fun little journal. If you like that, please remember to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, give us a like. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Really appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.